Oh! Well, I mean, that doesn't look evil. Anyone mind if I become so king of this place when we take over? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can, I guess. Yeah. I'm emperor of evil. We're, we're all gonna become kings and then start a giant civil war, and that's how this campaign ends. We're just killing one another. Just yell off in the distance, like, I got no shit to do with this. Yarl just sounds like a force and calls himself the king. <laughs> he doesn't even it's call like himself three the king. people. It's just, the rock just king. like, there's two other people, and it's just like, all taking puffs to, on this pipe or something <laughs> like that. Just. One the people's armies stumble upon offers some pipe. <laughs> just melts into the ground as they don't need the giant down. blunt, like not a normal. He he needs fucking like five X blunt. I guess this truly ain't <laughs> nothing but a hound dog. Takes the atomica. Uh, wave. Uh, oh god, I forgot the atomica <laughs> happened. Fay Wild style. What Wait, this, what? <laughs> what does this campaign mean? Campaign has been madness. It's been a good game when you can't sum the campaign up in less than a sentence. <laughs> it has been. Um. So as you guys kind of stride up to the uh, um, hey, castle, so you see that there are forces that come out to meet you, just kind of off in the distance through like brambles and trees and over this mass just plain of dying earth. Um, you see, like, this cascade of several of the wooden knights that you guys fought earlier, and you see two enormous giants. Uh, ah, basically, yeah. the, the size of little people off in the distance. They're not um, giants, they're small people. I don't know why, but I'm just thinking of Magic Blade Warband now. <laughs> this just became a Magic Blade Warband group. Uh... Um, the Blossom Lady will kind of walk over to the rest of you who are going to be uh, infiltrating, and she kind of takes uh, sort of her leafy arms and kind of furls them out, and essentially coming out is this cloak of pink flower blossoms, and she kind of throws it, and it like stretches to stretch around all of you, and everyone within that space uh, becomes invisible. Oh, oh fine. Invisible and being a giant spider? This is gonna be heck. Oh, that is a nightmare. That is nightmare and a half. <laughs> An invisible spider. An giant invisible, invisible giant spider. spider. Everything just loaded in. Okay, <laughs> I can see this stuff now. <laughs> nice! Um, so, you guys can move the list and trebuchet whatever you want. Um, so we're gonna- we're gonna try to do this, where... Um... We, when eventually we split up, the battle goes on, and you guys also infiltrate the dungeon at the same time. Oh my god. So, here, here we go. Uh, group initiatives? Like, so we flip between? Essentially, yeah. Okay. Well, Dante, you ready? Let's see how crappy my stealth is. Let's fight some shit. Yeah! I, I uh, so no, before you roll stealth, uh, everyone roll initiative. Oh. Okay. That's not what I want. There we go. Is your what the fuck are my walls? I wait. Where's our tokens? It's just a I white thing. Bottom. I can I can select the catapult, but I can't select like a. I can't even see the catapult. <laughs> fuck you. I can select Miriam. My um, I'm gonna face. cast non-detection on myself now because I can s assume that the dude knows I'm here. I just want him <laughs> to forget. Oh, hey, actually, Yodel, before this fight, do you want to have the bell? You I can have it. I can select everyone but this. Julia. <laughs> it's the dryad bell. It's under the magic items. I can't yeah, select this Julian DM. This Julian's an enigma. This whole game's been an, an enigma of our imaginations. We're actually all in the senior- we're all in the freshman <laughs> house high on our asses with the Yertle. <laughs> yeah, the loser's actually thing. taking it. No. Okay, can everyone else collect their token? The inner oh, machinations oh. of my mind are an enigma. Are a ligma. Alright, don't start that shit with me. <laughs> I feel like there's a story okay. behind that line. So eventually the way this works is um, everyone here can separate. 
and you'll be fine, but you guys all need to get with the Blossom Lady and the rest of this group to the other end of the map. Oh! Uh, and then get back with the Blossom Lady. Um, I'll... How long does possible that trace last? Fuck. Well, it seems... Wait, all the centaurs have guns. I just, I just remember that. Yeah, all the centaurs have guns. Because <laughs> I looked at their picture, I thought they all had swords, I was like, this is going to be a weird battle. Um, no. yeah, I'll pause without a trace on everyone who's invisible. <laughs> Including myself. I mean, I probably also just cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> You're you never going to be too They won't be able to fucking see you or touch you. It's just gonna secretly be on a different plane of existence altogether, but again. Yeah, I'm non detected and invisible. <laughs> Try and at me, boys. I'm behind two proxies. Non detected in. Two. Two proxies of invisibility and pass without a trace. No one's gonna touch you. Alright, no, he, so just, <laughs> he just removes himself from the timeline. Yeah. Just gone. Um. Basically, right now, Dante and Elysia are going to basically be in, in charge of all of the army things going on. Oh. So Elliot is going to look to the two of you whenever you want. Um, and basically, on each of your turns, you can get one unit. Uh, either like this group of Eladrin, the bottom group of Eladrin, or the centaurs to do something. And then you also get to do something yourself. <laughs> Alright, you know, you remember that officer's hat that I made at, like, the very beginning of the campaign? I'm yeah. whipping that out, and I'm putting it on. Oh, hell yeah. Do you put the crown <laughs> then on top of that, or do you wear the crown? I'm not the crown. The hat on top of the crown. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Elliot's gonna ask you guys what you want to do. <clears throat> well, I come from a military background, so I know how to run shit. I also have a gun. <laughs> Wait, Dorian's <laughs> hidden my hat. It's not invisible. I mean, they don't seem to have any range stuff, so we could just use guns and ballista and all that to our advantage. Hey, hey, hey. Unless it turns out to be, like, that one battle where, like, England lost to a bunch of natives when they had fucking multi-shot guns. Let's go. Yes, exactly like that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Elliot, Elliot turns to the two of you and wants to know what you should tell, what you want to do. I mean, what uh, weapons we focus on do the, giants the two with things them, have? I assume all your elves have arrows. You should just like fire and squad them. All right, let's see. Um, I mean, I centaurs are much bigger compared to these boys, the tree boys. And we were able to kill them fairly easily when we first arrived. Centaurs also have speed and they have ranged weapons. If we set our artillery munitions on fire, I'd imagine that'd also be very good. I think it'd be better to target the giants, <coughs> giants and all that we'll, with them, though. We'll use the... I feel like the ballista would be better for the giants. <sighs> And the catapult would be better as, like, an AoE weapon against the bunched-up treemen. Yeah, just... Yeah, I mean, that makes more sense. So, uh, we'll get, like, some of the elves, I guess, to operate the artillery. Look, is Did, any well, of this they have ground around you right now elevated? That's also... Uh, what's the elevation like here? Um... So it's it's kind of hard to discern, but basically the the black lines that kind of go in circles, that's like a raised elevation. So are we raised or are they raised? The elves currently are raised. The catapult's on the high ground. Ah, perfect. Yeah, so all you need to do is get your whole army up there and you've won. Pretty it's much, not, yeah. It's not raised that much, it's like five feet up. Yeah, but you have the high if ground. There's... If there's one thing I've learned from Obi-Wan Kenobi, yeah. Master Tactician, it's that if you have the high ground... You will it's win. Over. <laughs> but the exactly. battle ends whoever can get to the top first. <laughs> yeah. As soon as they get to the bottom and they try and move up, like both their legs and one of their arms are cut off. And then they hate you for some reason. 
What? And then they hate you. <laughs> <laughs> You are my you. brother! Lucky, what do you do? <laughs> Lucky. Uh, is going to wait. Uh, so, Blossom Lady moved ahead? Uh, yeah, you can oh, all still yeah. see each other. I, I'll keep with the Blossom Lady and, like, hold my actions. Alright, uh, Young Bob will do the same. <laughs> young Bob. That sounds like a rapper name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Young Bob. <laughs> Yo, Young Bob up in the sizzle! Um, Alessia, the, the centaur sergeant will turn to you, um, and he says, we're at your command. Oh! Uh, let's Ooh, just you have the put the archers up. on Don't the centaurs. Like. Just fire, fall back, fire, fall back. You get me? He nods. Uh, which way do you want them to advance? Uh, forward. Obviously, but like... <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna run into stuff. Like, when, when they get, like, what do you, which way do you want them to go? Um... Just even, even split, I'd say. Like, one, go, one group goes left, one group goes right. Alright. Time to watch out for the what's, water. What's the range like on our, on the artillery? Uh, the catapult has a range of 150 slash 300. The ballista has uh, 110 slash 400. Ah, uh, perfect. We can hit them from spawn. To get to get a good shot on the uh, with the ballista on the giants, you're gonna have to get the ballista a little bit closer. Might well, be the giants will get. It'd just be better to focus on. Don't waste time moving up. Just take people out. Um, uh, Alessia, so basically you, you commanded the centaurs, uh, and you, you can also yourself do something. Well, I mean, I think Alessia's gotta... <laughs> Alessia's gotta be a part of the crew, so... Sure. <laughs> Run forward with revolver out. Alright, just behind these stampeding centaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh, Gail. She's, she's a dog. Uh huh. Dustin around. Well, I mean, with the crowd. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, hold on. I didn't want to do that. There we go. All right. Um, I am going to command these boys. Uh, over here. To fire the catapult. A cannon would build a cannon. Go... <laughs> like right yeah. there. Alright, um, so. I just realized we could have used the idol as a cat catapult <laughs> wall. The baby okay, so since, since you're the one giving the order, I want you to roll a d20. Okay. No way, the same as a cat wall. Ball. Oof. Ball. Oh. Ball. And it's going to be at a plus six. A plus six, so... Eleven. Just like hit one of the witty boys. Alright, yeah, that just kind of... Goes soaring and smashes into this big rock pile. Oof. It says have a huge tuft of dirt that kind of goes scattering, but the soldiers don't even flinch. Alright. Uh, oh, wait, crap, and then before Julian goes, you can also do something yourself. Yes, so... flinches as well. Um, the spell that I wish to use has a range of... That's not me. That's still not me. All right, I'm going to just... There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so... I'm going to move up a tad bit. So, let's see. Um, I think I can go 30 feet. So, I'm going to move, like... Like there. Bam. And then... We're gonna use that again and put it. It's got a range of 152. So let's see. <clears throat> right there. <laughs> I'm, I want to put it right, right. 
there. Oh no. And oh, it has no. a range of 20 feet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they all have difficult terrain. They're blind. <laughs> and they're taking acid damage. No, it's cold damage. Or Wait, whatever it is. I, th I like, think it's cold it, and acid. What the it, fuck? It's, it's both. It, if they stay there, then they take the acid damage. Yeah. I think, right? No, it's Ooh. the acid damage first, I'm pretty sure. No, it's acid no, damage if they, if, they yeah. start, if they start as 2d6, if they end, it's 2d6. Yeah, it's 2d6 acid if they yeah, end there. Too far. If they start there, it's 2d6 cold. But like, 20 feet, isn't that Pelios who used that spell so much? Like, a shit ton? Yeah. Don't judge me! I mean, it's a little no, I just, I just remembered it's someone too. using that spell a lot in uh, Naverna. There's arms of Hadar. Which... Yeah. Arms. Just the Hadar spells themselves are amazing. Who's Hadar? Uh, some dude. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know who he is, but I love him. <laughs> <Hadar, laughs> yeah. Alright, Julian, you're up. Hadar's my dad. Um, <laughs> I mean, well, I'm like super hidden shit. Like, even without this Blossom Lady stuff on me, so I'm, so I'm just gonna, like, move my whole turn up here and wait for these nerds. Good. Yeah, you show him, Julian. You, you can't see me. You can, I'm, I'm John Cena right now. Alright, so they're, like, walking, like, slowly advancing, and Julian just sprints past them. Yeah, you can't even at me right now. You can't even, even though the mage hand like doesn't need to, you're still like moving the mage hand up and down oh, yeah, yeah. like you would if you were running. <laughs> <laughs> Just move there. It gives me more force. Wait, me, is though. is Dorian still under my hat? There's yeah, he is. Loading, there's a cat yeah, floating across just... the battlefield. <laughs> no, I'm assuming they can't even see him. It's an omen. <laughs> Yeah, a cat on the battlefield is certain death. <laughs> Ginger cat going at high speeds is certain death. When Especially it's if it's wearing a wizard hat. <laughs> that's, so, that, that's so specific. I love it. <laughs> Alright. So Miriam specific. will kind of run a halfway between Julian and the Blossom Lady. Uh, Dorian probably would like the real Dorian. <laughs> still love the name. What if he ain't? It's well, such a it's such a wide nameplate. <laughs> what if Dorian ain't the real Dorian? I don't want to. Main real even. Dorian, please stand up. He can't, he can't stand up, so he's not the real Dorian. Ha! Ha! Uh, oh, got him. And we'll deal with him after this war. There isn't gonna be an after. <laughs> what are you saying? This war's going to go till we die? No, oh, because then the campaign's gonna end. Oh, fair point, actually, yeah, yeah. What, we don't get a normal school life after this? <laughs> I mean, I feel like we could. <laughs> you might go to college, you never know. Is, wait, I thought we were at Magic College, though. Well, I mean, no, we're, we're at Magic High School. Yeah, it probably lost two. All right, Seth, college. go ahead and roll your two uh, d six. Okay. Bam. Oh. Bam. Mm. <laughs> okay. So these these wooden men don't even like, even the ones that aren't inside the radius don't walk around it, and they just walk straight through. Did they, uh, did they take into account that difficult terrain? Yeah. Alright. Okay, understandable. <laughs> Alright, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> weird flex, but... <laughs> I keep grabbing the stupid fucking giants. Okay, they're gonna hang out back here. Right click them and send them to back, man. They gotta get out of here. They tall boys. Well, yeah, but then we'll be able to grab them later. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be lost. Just duct tape them together, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna have to individually go by and take away two points of damage. <laughs> 
um, from each of them. But Seth, go ahead and roll uh, the next 2d6 for all of them to end in this the thing. Alright. Are you <laughs> fucking with me? There we go. That's, uh... That's hilarious. Five. It is kind of hilarious. Five. They also get their death saves. I, I'm uninstalling. I'm uninstalling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uninstall roll 20. Really starting off the night strong, boys. We, we did a total of one, two, three, seven. Seven damage. This is something to celebrate, guys. We got this. Okay, so, um... The giants start moving. Uh, and you see one of them... One of them picks up the boulder you threw at them. Oh! Let me pull up the stat shit for all this. I'm super prepared, guys. It's totally cool. Wow. Um... Are you... Are you yeah, ready? definitely. Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this giant boulder comes hurtling. It goes directly over the centaurs and over the invisible party and smashes into the trebuchet. Oh, man. Okay. Not the treb. I mean, they've moved in range to, of the ballistas, so they're fucked. I mean, I don't suppose I could feather fall a boulder in the air, can I? Uh, you could on your turn, but you probably can as a reaction. Feather falls well, a reaction. Feather falls a reaction spell. But... It does, yeah. But it does say when a cr when you or a creature within 60 feet falls. So I don't yeah. Think yeah. I mean, to be falling. fair, are the, bo are the boulders sentient? Are they golems that they're throwing at the enemy? <laughs> uh, you know what, Julian? I'll say make an Arcana check to uh, mm. featherfall the the boulder. Oh wait, shit! Can I see the moth? Hell yeah, brother! Though the moth is just them, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Ignore that little moth. That's not actually a thing. That's just a token. Okay, I good. Like, I, I want them to all because move on the same Gale page is... for my. Fair. Because you know, Gale is, <laughs> Gale is currently terrified of moths. Oh yeah, we need to duct tape Gale to a mothman's face. Fuck. Yeah, so the boulder goes careening towards these guys, and they would have taken a shit ton of damage, but then all of a sudden the boulder just kind of slows and just bounces off the trebuchet. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing <laughs> and the whole slowly thing. falls to the ground. Miss me with that gay shit. <laughs> Get that uh, weak shit out of here. The other giant is going to run up to this pile of rocks by this little pool of frozen yellow water. Uh, and he's also going to chuck a boulder at uh, these three centaurs. Alright, so I have to make deck saves. The centaurs are fucked. Okay, so these, these two centaurs kind of f f dodge out of the way. Oh no. Gary. <laughs> the middle one. And this boulder goes flying straight into this guy, and it, it like trips up his legs, and he face plants oh. on the other side of it. Oh! Should have went to Space Savers. <laughs> what the fuck is up with you, Space Savers? He's gonna—he's gonna take twenty-one points of damage. He's good. Is the gun okay? Can you? Yeah, the gun's still... fine. Can you still fire your rifle? <laughs> Keep can... moving forward. Yes. We're gonna is play this like World War. This is gonna be World War One now. The Zerkers will be shot. Alright, so the Blossom Lady kind of glides uh, through the trees and up and around the centaurs over to here. <laughs> Elliot's going to kind of knock out of his chair, um, and he's going to kind of run up next to Dante. Hey! And he just pulls out his Glock and kind of cocks it, <laughs> and he puts <laughs> in his cigarette. My man! Wait, Yodel can't smoke whilst on the battlefield, they'll notice a floating ciggy. <laughs> this is the moment Yodel realizes his mistake. That is also a bad omen. <laughs> oh no, I smoke too say... many doobies. <laughs> say fuck it, smoke doobie. I'll just think it's a bullet traveling very slowly. 
one. <laughs> so just just to keep in mind context, there's literally a thousand of these centaurs that are fighting around you guys. All right. So every one centaur equals like twenty. No, no, no. These are all one centaur, but this is just like a snippet of the actual battle going on. Oh. oh. So from there's like a fuck right, ton of shit few... going on around you guys. Okay. This so is we gotta break power. the center, boys. This is literally just the like the last ditch to get you guys to the up to the castle. Is this like the winter version of our Blossom Lady? Like the winter dude? The uh, you have no idea that it's just some guy. Uh, just some lad. <laughs> it's just some fuckboy who stole that person's clothing. I'm gonna <laughs> Rochambeau him when I run past. <laughs> Kick him in the nuts. <laughs> Nut tap. You never see it. Uh, uh, you, see, he's, he's, you, can, you can probably see him, Julian, uh, from where you're standing. At least like a little bit. He's on kind of like a raised up space. Um, he's holding uh, a bow in one hand and what looks like a staff in the other. Mm. Alright, Lincoln, like, what do you do? Uh, do you want us to go down? Yeah, I'm gonna dash 60. Just keep with the Blossom Lady. Again, well, no, Dash would be my main action, so yeah. Alright, uh, this centaur is gonna pull out a giant claymore. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, and he's gonna dash... All the horde. All the way up here. Oh no. He just, like, sprints and, like, jumps over this giant pile of rocks and just lands in front of his men. Oh, what a chad. Alessia, you're up. Well, uh, Alessia will do the sensible thing and just over the din of battle, just start shouting for the centaurs to fire. Bayonet charge! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man, imagine we designed the guns to be lances at the same time. Affix bayonets! I'm just saying, I'm not sure giving them a completely new weapon. It has been the best idea, but it will be interesting nonetheless. It doesn't take a genius to fire a gun. It, it actually, does yeah, it's right. easier to train a person to use a gun than use a bow. That was yeah, like what made the yeah. gun like so. That's why. That's why yeah. we stood in lines and fired at one. Another. The the yeah. gun is the great equalizer. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've, ooh, I've I've loved this concept. Anyways, yeah. So I'll shout for the fire and I'll. Just slip up. Let me, let me slip in here. Slide into those centaur DMs. I don't know. I mean, I've seen some pretty good looking. Do you want, you want them to just fire at the at the soldiers or the giants? Uh, in the horde. Oh, the horde. All right, so they're gonna move forward a little bit. Um, Tell the head. Move up, fire, fall back. This would sort of be the card. Alright, I'm just gonna make one attack roll for all of them. Because that works out great all the time. <laughs> um, so they just kind of steady down the rifles and just let out this burst volley. A lot of them are still gonna get caught in the thing. God, we're so small compared to everything else. Fuck. We are. Alright, so, uh, Irish, go ahead and roll the 1d8 they're gonna do of damage. Oh. These entire back two rows are still gonna get hit by my thing. I mean, worth it if, like, you roll pretty bad on them the first one roll around. You deserve yeah. a redo. Ooh, and actually, is he gonna get. Nah, he's too far away. Yeah. Can well, you move it at all in your time? No, nah, it's 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 static. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm All right. So um, they they shoot and then they they move back. Uh, this guy got hit by the rock. Is kind of like just kind of scrambling out of it. He oh, doesn't actually get a chance to fire off. Um, the rest of them retreat, and then Alesia, you're free to do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, I have decent range range with my revolver. Okay. Um, uh, should move up a little bit. Stand, stand in the firing line. Um, we can draw my revolver and shoot the closest of the skeleton. Uh, 
All right, that does not hit. I only have, I only have one attack. All right, so you see that the centaurs just kind of fire off these shots. Um, and you also fire, and you see that they either ping off just the metal armor, or they just sink into the wooden flesh and don't seem super effective. So I'm guessing they just rolled really shitty to hit, like I did. Some of them hit, but it, it, it doesn't do very much. Uh. Alright, Dante, you're up. What do you do? Alright, well, uh, as far as I know, these, like, back two rows still get hit by it. Uh, at the start of their turn, not yours. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so we'll do that later. Um, and I think you said it was 110 with the ballista, right? Something like that? 110, yeah. Okay. Um, so they need to be, like, right there. So that's... Yeah, how much movement does the ballista have? Uh, it has half of the Eladrin's movement, which is just 35 feet. Okay, so it can move 15. So... Uh, from the tip, we could move it to there. <laughs> All right, and then no, <laughs> it's just out of range. Uh, take take the shot anyways. It's like just out of range. All right, Dante, go and roll uh two d twenties then. All right. <laughs> Bam. Boom. Alright, so this sh enormous shot just bursts out and uh, sinks into the ground just right in front of it. <laughs> and he looks down, he lets out a laugh. That's yeah. about par for the course. <laughs> uh, Dante, do you do anything? Um. Shoot the laughing giant in the eye. Prove him wrong. <laughs> What other spells do I have? Can I think I can only cast Hunger of Hadar once. I can't cast it again. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I only get uh, one third level. So spell. Get more than... No, no, three, you're well off. You get two. All right, oh, nice. you get two, and that's how many spell slots you have for the whole thing. To be fair, Hunger of Hadar is concentration, though. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna wait for like the ten returns to. Run out and then really proc you? Probably. I mean, you can Eldritch Blast still. Eldritch Blast has massive range, doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah, I'll it's probably just uh, Eldritch Blast uh, this boy. <laughs> um, so you'd have to move to be in range. You have a range of 100 feet. Oh, Alright, yes. then we'll just move up 20 feet. What and you there? can't hit him over this pile of rocks. You have to get out of the way of that. We'll move th th there, then. Yeah, we'll move there. Bam. Alright, go and roll with it, uh, Eldritch Blast. Uh, put that as a weapon. Boom. Alright, Seth, I need you to make an Arcana check. Okay. <laughs> uh, do, 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 bam. No, 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 uh, okay, never mind, that works. Okay. Seth, you suddenly feel this compelling force to not fire the blast. Alright. Uh, but then you just kind of push past it, and you just kind of hold out your wand, and just shoot out the beam. Uh, go and roll the 2d10. Boom. Bam. To be honest, I was kind of expecting Elliot's chair to be uh, like a it, the, chair. the 10 doesn't count, just 18 is the damage it does. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this beam just kind of sinks right into its chest, and you see it burn away through the bone of its shoulder. Wow. Alright, Gail, you're up. Question, can I tell where the others are? Or no? Yeah, you can see everybody's invisible. Actually, you can't see Julian, you have no idea where he went. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I think, I mean, I'll just hold my action to dash and over to the others after I make sure everyone else gets there first. <laughs> just make sure. Okay. I will continue making my way, but I'll give a quick bardic inspiration to Elysia as I'm running past. Thank you. Within the wind, just, just shout out like you, you can do it. <laughs> <Yeah, just laughs> 
kick their ass. You were born for this, you know I'm not. Yeah, no one can see this motherfucker. I'm, some, I'm fucking fast <laughs> as fuck, boy. I'm fast as fuck. Fast as fuck, boy. You don't want to get with this. I'm about to Ron Weasley this damn troll. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Yurtle, you're up. Um, because I can bonus action transform, might as well truck that giant spider form straight away, am I right, boys? What? <laughs> Wait, what's your fear, uh, Gale? Moths. That's my what? Your fear is just of moths, right? Just moths alone? <laughs> yeah, just moths. Just not the enemy we're supposed to be fighting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My fear is by the boss. Thus, I should turn into a giant moth, Nudget. I'm pretty scared of it too. So. Yeah. So, okay, if I use a bonus action to transform into a giant spider, then dash up to the blossom lady. Um, make an arcana check. Oh, fuck. Look, let's All face right. it, a spider mixed with turtle DNA is just a crab. Shut the fuck up, Cheeky. You're not wrong, <laughs> but you're not right. Fuck's sake. I really like that. <laughs> fuck you, Cheeky. What? It is. I'm blaming you for this roll. A shelled spider, so, forget about it. Uh, Yertle, as you... Turn into a big spider, uh, you become visible. <laughs> oh, the spider starts you. laughing? Oh, that's terrifying. Alright, uh, so the invisible cat just kind of jumps off of you and starts scampering off. Welcome to right, the army, you're at all. Pick I up a rifle like... and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the fight starts. Because <laughs> you're in the middle of it. How, I mean, can, how you can he not also to tell the Eladrin to do stuff as well in his turn now? Uh, they are using the artillery. And I am in a spider form who can't speak. Uh, so just this giant spider, spider comes off from the sideline. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do the best I can and just... Um, wait, I could just dash, so like... Uh, I'm gonna be useless. A that giant green spider <laughs> dashes <laughs> out behind the, the line. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Spitting right oh. for me, it looks like. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that right. they won't get sass. So, this giant runs forward. <laughs> oh no. Oh, fuck's sake. Sees this spider. <laughs> <laughs> Squishes by the Squishes. Goodbye, you little shit. Paper, is it? Yeah, these papers it with its log. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, he rolls exactly a fourteen, enough to hit. No, uh, I'm mean, gonna cutting words him. Do not hit spider. <laughs> Do not hit Do not spider. Hit. No hit spidey. I'm reducing his roll by a d8. Alright, roll the d8. Didn't he just barely hit though, so like... Hey! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I would've missed anyways, okay, so... Hit this, <laughs> I grab my crotch with my main hand. Hit or miss. The club goes right down towards you, Yurtle. It looks like it's about to squish you, and all of a sudden the club just moves right to the side and slams <laughs> into the ground. Uh, so then he swings again. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No more on there. Never mind. Well, I'm 26 health in this form, so you know. I see how Alright, he just kind of squishes yeah. to your legs, uh, and you take 6 points of damage. Yep. Wouldn't that be really bad for a spider, though? Yeah, that's horrible. Your two, two of your legs don't run anymore. What do you mean? It's not bad for a spider. They got eight. It's bad for a human <laughs> if two legs get squished. <laughs> Start wrong, that's like... your... That's your legs! <laughs> that's, that's, that's all you Alright. So, uh, this other giant is gonna throw another boulder at the centaurs. Jesus! Close I thought he was gonna throw a rock at me. I'm gonna, like, they need a carpet. I'll and catch it. Okay, so. Uh, you see Alan run 
slightly to the side as the boulder like sails over him and it goes right into that guy who got hit by the oh, other no. one. Oh, <laughs> and you see it eclipse off the human half of his body. Oh. Oh. And the, the the horse and human half just kind of tumble onto the ground side by side as the boulder just smears oh, the blood across shit. the floor. Um. The man. question is, do I try to save your Nah. Where's it? Where are you sneaking? Uh, be... Do I try to save Urinal? Yeah, no. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I mean, is there a point of you trying to save me? No. I'll be behind you. Yeah. He's got like 20 health left in him. He's good. Yeah, I'm still bopping around. I could even jump on you if I wished. We don't know where we are. Bite that son of a bitch. <laughs>